Hello everyone and welcome to Smite Basics. Today I'm going to be covering the uh, first mage you may unlock in, in the game of Smite, also known as Ra, Sun God from the Egyptian Pantheon. I'm going to be playing an arena game. This is a near brand new account. You may notice it's, this is level 13 down there. I've played a fair, uh, just a few games on this account, you know, just to get it high enough so that we're not playing with people that absolutely have no clue what they're doing. So hopefully it gets good quality gameplay for you guys. And um, yeah, I'm just going to play a quick arena game. Just to, and I'm just going to show you the basics of all five roles uh, using the starting gods that you get. So we're going to start with mage, and that god, the the mage that you start with is Ra. So uh, here we go. I'm just going to launch into this game now. And the uh, the aim of this series is going to be to uh, give you a very brief overlook of. Uh, the starting gods on Smite, uh, the roles on Smite, and the way the whole game sort of works as like a basic thing. So it's going to be sort of like a, a fresh from the beginning for anyone who's just starting the game. Uh, I've been playing this game for a little while now. I've played a lot of time on it on my main account, and I figured, you know, I've I came on here. I made another account just the for a bit of fun, and uh, I realised that not actually a lot of people know what they're doing. Yeah, for like the first 20 levels so I figured I'd uh, post some stuff trying to help people out so this is the arena map this is a fountain this is where you uh, have a, a lot of your health and mana regen while stood in it uh, you may have noticed that I unlocked my three abilities at the bottom so you ho you press alt and hover, uh, hold alt and hover your mouse over them and tell you what they do just leave them up there for you guys to have a quick read Alright, you can also use ult to hover over your items in the uh, dive box. I've gone for, as arena, as a route, I've gone for my tier 2 of boots and uh, lost artifacts. You'll learn more about items later on, but we're just going to go over the basics of um, how to play the gods more than um, the items that you might want to build in certain situations or what the items do. So at the moment we're just clearing jungle camp uh, at the start of the early game. Just you usually pick up the ones that best suit you. We're getting our healer, the mana buff, an assassin, our damage buff, and our hunter, the attack speed buff. To so level up, I'm going to upgrade an ability with F1, 2, 3, and 4. Which upgrade the abilities and you keep her to 1 to 4 use the abilities. And that, for example. So the way that Ra works is he is a very useful utility mage. He um, has a... Oh god, we're going to die. Yeah, we died. Wow. There's one problem. Right, so... He's a utility mage that is very good at doing wave blitz and for heals. Now, the one problem Ra has is that he has no escape. He can't get away. Um, he doesn't have a, like a dash or a jump or a teleport or anything. Like oh my god. So, and that was a fine example of a good Ross Knight, which is his uh, ultimate ability. Uh, the ultimate comes up, uh, it's very long cooldowns. And then, well, I generally have, oh dear, run Loki, um, have very long cooldowns and usually do a lot of damage or have really very um, brutal for the enemy team to deal with. And Ra's one is a, uh, for a few seconds he stands there charging up, and then after those few seconds passes, and we should a searing beam of sunlight. Like, oh god, that would be a cat. I really don't want to kill me. Thank you. Just a nice to escape. Thank god. Minions have reached your fort. The heat bears down upon you. Slug it! The heat. You have slain an enemy. No, uh, we may have gone too far. But we picked up two kills there. So, uh, the very basics of an arena game is you kill the enemy team, and their tickets on over here, the red tickets, will go down. And you also clear the minions, which you can see like here, like a wave of minions and you clear them and stop them getting into your portal will also decrease the enemy ticket uh, as well as getting them into their portal which you can see over here on the other side of the map get your minions through that uh, decrease the tickets and disable the enemy 
And first team to get the other team's tickets to zero wins the arena game. It's quite simple. And the arena game is probably what you want to start with. Just gets you to the grips of the mechanics of the game and uh, of gods. And this is not what the game was designed for. Its main game mode is conquest. And that's what a lot of these games are about. It's really a, a holy crap. God, I hate Outwatch. <laughs> God's not balanced. Yeah. And I'm not really concentrating because I'm trying to talk to you guys, which I'm going to have to try and get used to. Um, but yeah, Arena is what you will usually start with, and it's basically just like an all out brawl sort of game mode. Um, so you see the minions going into there, and the announcers said, Minions have reached your portal. They're basically telling us that minions have gone through and taken some tickets off us, which would not happen. This is going help. Oh, taking a lot of damage. They don't like us, do they? Doesn't help that we have someone who's decent. So I'm going to talk a bit more, more about Ra's ability. So his one uh, is a beam, it goes down in the line of anything, there's a lot of damage. Uh, his two is a AoE damage and blind, like so. And his three is a circle of heat, that uh, also deals damage to enemy players. His ultimate is, as I've explained already, a, he stands still for a while and then fires a beam of uh, high damage light in that direction and uh, can do an awful lot of damage right into the quick hey, setup I think it's going to still get through port. which is a pain in the ass a hot item. Okay. Okay, looks like we're going to lose this game <laughs> this is how I made use of them standing still there to hey. hit my last night it, it, it usually requires a lot of setup to execute, which is why Ra is not, you know, played in every single team comp. He's very much a average god, but he's a good starter god. He's quite simple to use. He doesn't take, uh, you know, a great lot of ability to play, apart from maybe his ultimate. He's right quite hard to hit. He's actually one of the, in my opinion, one of the hardest to hit in the in the game. Um, but with a decent team, you won't have trouble. They have to keep people in place long enough for you to hit them. And sometimes you can just hit snipes when people aren't expecting it. And especially with Arena, where people are so good at that you know, sometimes it's hard to miss. Oh. He says as he misses. An ally has been slain. Kill. Yeah, this is this is not good. This is Rain this is not, not good. Please, please no. Please don't hurt me. So as you can see, that I pretty much took out that entire wave with just the one. This is why Rar is can be quite useful for starting players because he can just press one. And walk away. And uh, now I'm going to talk slightly more about Ra's passive now. So Ra, each god has a passive ability, which does something without you having to activate it. Now Ra's is quite, um, quite interesting. It's quite useful. It's um, every time you have an ability, you see this thing over here, sort of turns into like a ball of yellow and slowly ticks down. Well, for each ball of yellow, you gain an increased uh, movement speed, which is, you know, one, you know, rather than have a dash, that could be quite useful. This means you can spam three abilities and then just run away. And you'll be probably one of the quicker gods in the game. Uh, as we are getting sure we the cash and get last night. Well played. God damn it. 
he took the opportunity because he knew exactly where I was walking, so I wanted to go back to base. So, you know, he made use of that. He's, you don't have people to be stunned, you must have predict where they're going, you're going to do fine. Welcome back. Damn it, I hear you. Oh. Minions have reached your portal. Rain in the glow. Rally here. Several Ross. Heal. I'm over here. I need to start sniping me. Rain in the glow. Shut down. Killing spree. No, oh, unless the hits on. I can see. Speaking of not being able to see. We need to get again! <laughs> this guy. Yeah. That's what me. I should be doing. But we've got not what I think they can do that for us. The fact that Cooper Bracken can sort of hold you in that circle. Sort of. It's very powerful for the row. Something that we don't have access to. I'm not having a good game right now. <laughs> so it doesn't help. I don't play a lot of Ra, if I'm honest. It's not one of my better characters. Even on my... He's one of the gods you are all, like, he's literally, like, the god. Most people, like, play as a first god, which is Ra. He's my first god, I know a lot of people that play this game. Like, their first god. Ra's everyone's first god. Can you, can you not? Can you, please? Just in case we need that. Ho ho ho, Jesus Christ. I like how I hit the one that I had for health. Minions have reached your portal. The heat bears down upon you. Fortunately, I have Platt, which is the guy who keeps blowing me up. Shuts down Peter's very well. An enemy has been slain. Oh my god. Yeah. So you see we went a bit blind there, that was what Ra's 2 does to people. Let me get too close. Now we're gonna die to a Bastel. Which is the three cats that she puts on the floor and they just annoy everyone. No one enjoys that. No one enjoys being Bastet or it. It's just one of those things that happens and you're gonna have to deal with. I'm afraid. Yeah. God, I'm having an awful game. This is not a very good tutorial, is it? <laughs> but I'm just trying to show you what it's like to play the game, show you the basics of maybe you could possibly be your first goal. It's quite an easy one to play. I mean, it wouldn't be easy to play him one of the other ones. He's not. Amazing. That's how I hit that snipe because I knew exactly where he was going. This is what I was saying. The snipe requires setup, but not too much. It's hard to hit just randomly, but given the right amount of prep. So, high damage the ability. Nearly free. An ally has been slain. Mm, unfortunately, our team is dying. I'm happy to join the war. An ally has been slain. Hey, they're good. I'm going to go back and change the heat bears down upon you. You know, probably right. Oh, we just managed to dodge in the building. Minions yeah. have reached your portal. Mm. Right idea. Certain. Mm. An enemy has been slain. Hunter, for example. Here I love Fun god to play. Because it's just the raw damage he does. Mm. I guess look, that was half my health to that last step. So okay. We're getting focused out a lot. And by that I mean like the fact that we are being targeted an awful lot is 
stupid and annoying and I wish you'd stop right now. Ow, Patch, no. Stop. Stop. Minions have reached your portal. I can also send things to you all. Yeah, I didn't hit anything, but, you know. No, minion. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. There's some bit of the other minion. The reason I also to to kill this thing since this goes through we use a lot of it. To clear that as quickly as possible. Oh, it comes up pretty quick. That's a good thing about Razor, it comes up like every 40 seconds. So, yeah, it's, it's quite good. Yeah. Is he gonna die? Is he gonna die? I'm gonna lose most of my health. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh -huh. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Seems to look like the An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Wow. Wow. You, you just been cannot been get out of that. You gotta buy a beast. Bees is an important item for any mage because uh, it gets you out of things that might slow you, stun you, cripple you, you know, whatever. It gets you out of you. Very useful, very, very useful for me. Oh. Yeah, and I was lost there. Not even my beads could save me from that. Uh, we got top down. No, we didn't. No, he did. Because, because you know, who leaves a Loki alone in the week? <laughs> so if I was playing against a Loki, as he is one of my most hated gods, I wouldn't let him even walk around without making sure I know where he is. Because I hate him, and it's easy and almost every game. But, um, so this is the screen what happens when you come out of a game. You gain favour, which is like in-game currency. You gain worshippers, which is a measure of how much you play their god. And you gain experience, which is towards levelling up. You get your accolades on this right hand side, so you've got, I got a double kill, so I got two kills in quick succession. I got two normal player kills, uh, 14 assists, minions, and the fact that I completed the game. Go over here, we're going to look at the what items everyone bought, their gold, their KDA, and the names of who they played, the levels, etc. Lots of information, some stats about how they built their gold. Um, and the final page is all about raw numbers. So, you know, the main one you might want to look at is damage here, and for us it would be healing as well. So we did you know, second top damage, decent amount of healing. Nothing compared to the hair of healing, but we did more damage than him. Um, so it wasn't a great game. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, I hope this helped. Um, next time I'm going to be using another one of the Star Gods. One I've got a bit more practice with. Uh, I don't really play a lot of Ra. It, that wasn't a good, very good game for me. So, um, yeah, hopefully it will be better next time. Uh, let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. And leave a like if you uh, enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.